What you want is to find that part of you that can infuse what you're doing with your heart and soul. In other words, it's got to have something of you in it that is uniquely you, not copied from someone else, not what you think it should be. It's got to be who you are. My, my most important tool is my hands, for sure. Um, I like actually touching and feeling. I experience a lot of my life through my hands. So I try to do as much as I can with just my fingers rather than using tools. But there are times when it's just better to get out the tool. It's one of the things I love about sculpture as opposed to, to painting or, um, or drawing. And in fact, I, I did think my strongest talent was for drawing, but uh, it didn't have that, that element of being able to feel, to touch. And I, re I just tend to be very oriented that way. always had an affinity for animals. My mother always knew where to find me as a little toddler. If I was missing, it would be out in the, with the animals. It occurred to me that, you know, that's something maybe I could bring to it, is that look at wildlife like they are individuals. I like the idea of showing how animals express emotion and have personality because I think it really helps us um, in our understanding of how we really are connected to the, to the natural world. We tend to see wildlife as um, you know, lumping in together, this is the way a wolf is and this is the way a crow is but they're individuals. I think there is something to just getting out and experiencing life and experiencing passion that is incredibly important. I don't think we do nearly as well as artists if we hold up and just focus on art. We need to get out and experience life. them for physical and mental health time. And they help me keep grounded and happy. Even in, in the pieces that I want to be humorous, I like them to to have a sense of um, an underplay, a subtlety to them that requires that you look a little more closely, that it not be terribly obvious. This is, even if they appear on the surface to be kind of lighthearted and whimsical, there's always more. Toy. Some of the kids a were piece of really food. clear right Whatever. from the start what they wanted to do and that's real encouraging to see. And then some strolled with it a little bit and are coming around, and then that's kind of fun to see. That some, some of them have, uh, have gotten through it and have come up with some good ideas. Play around with exactly with different directions, yeah. okay? So in this little bit of time I might have with these young high school students, it's hard to get past just trying to help them learn a skill in order to start um, feeling facile enough that they can actually start creating something that is, uh, that they can feel connected to and feel um, very personal about. It has been fun in this class watching some of these pieces evolve.
working in wax is not easy. And it, uh, and there are students in this class that have just done an awesome job. All I can say is I'm incredibly grateful that I've been able to uh, live the life that, that is meaningful to me because I can put so much time and energy and care into um, going deeper within myself through my artistic expression.